This is the biggest mistake when it comes to Microsoft Copilot. So everybody thinks that they need to pay a license to have their data secure, but that's not the fact. Actually, if you use Copilot for individuals, which is like very similar to ChatGPT, then you uh, don't have secure data. But if you log in to copilot.microsoft.com with your business email, you will get into a secured version of Microsoft Copilot. Just make sure you see this little green shield that was at the top right before of your screen. Now it might be at the top left of your screen. Three things you can do with the free version of Microsoft Copilot. Have it analyze a PDF. You just go to copilot.microsoft.com. You put in a PDF. Make sure your prompt follow the goal, context, expectation, source, prompt formula that is actually suggested by Microsoft. That's one thing that you can do. The second thing really close to that is that you can compare two PDFs together. Last time I actually compared five PDFs. I've put the financial statements of the past five years and I asked Copilot to do some chart, some graphics of a trend evolution for the fa past five years. Be really careful when you do that. Uh, make sure to double check the results, of course. And the third thing you can do with the free version of Copilot is actually have it analyze an Excel spreadsheet. For this to work, you will need to have your spreadsheet data set as a table. Very, very important. If you're using Copilot, odds are you are doing this mistake. I was giving a training the other day and a lady rose her hand. She said, hey Dave, I have bad results with Copilot. So I walk over to her desk and she actually put an HR policy into Copilot and she just asked, analyze this. Her prompt was, analyze this. And then I walked over and she said, I have bad results because I uploaded this PDF, which is an AR, HR policy, and I want to have this, 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 and that. So I was like, did you realize what you just told me? And then she said, oh, yes, I explained to you, like, everything that I should have explained to the chatbot, right? Exactly. That's the exact mistake that lots of people are doing. You don't give enough context. You are not specific enough. So basically, just explain to AI your situation, your problem, what you want it to do just like you will explain it to a human being. Simple as that. Three AI mistakes I see people do and how to fix them. The first one is the lack of prompting skills. The prompt is to ask a question to either Copilot or whichever AI you use. So lots of people are treating this tool just like Google and they're doing a Google search. So they will look for a library, by instance. But no, you need to give context. I'm looking for a library. I'm looking for this type of book. I live in this city. And then it's much better. So that's the first mistake. The second mistake is actually not creating new conversation. So when you change topics, just treat this like a human. You need to change conversation. If you see a human on the street, you start talking about whatever, what you ate last night, and then out of a sudden, which movie uh, is your favorite movie that you watched at the cinema 10 years ago, then the uh, AI is going to be a little bit uh, messed up, right? The third mistake is forgetting to use AI. So what you should do right now is go to your favorite browser, either Edge, Chrome, whatever, Firefox, is there still people using Firefox, and set the favorite AI chatbot, like Copilot, as a home page. So every time that you will open one of your browser, the first page won't be Google anymore. It will be either Copilot or whatever tool. What is a Microsoft Copilot agent? So I get this question all the time. An agent is actually like a custom version of Copilot. It's someone or something that you create that will act like someone in your business to do one, one specific task. By instance, I have many agents in my business. One, to actually take a transcript of a video. So a YouTube video transcript, a short transcript. And I want to make a LinkedIn post about it. So I take the transcript, copy, paste into the agent. That's it. I don't have any instruction to tell the agent. I already programmed. I already gave instructions to this agent and knowledge with like PDF, emails, the way that I type, the way the tone that I use when I do LinkedIn post. And this agent will just transfer my transcript to a LinkedIn post. So what is an agent? It's a custom version of Microsoft Copilot. 
designed to make one specific task. If you're not using Agent, you should be right now.